So, yesterday, we uh, went and picked up the third unit, which was the pods unit, and we paid 90 bucks for that unit. It was an 8x7, amazing unit. I found all kinds of great stuff. Downside is, we started doing the shoot, we did all the, uh, you know, the shooting, we did the intro, we did all the stuff that we usually do, and because it was so hot outside, the uh, GoPro basically decided to stop working. It turned itself off, we got home, we put in the micro SD card in, and literally it was all corrupted. So we lost a, quite a bit of the shoot. We do have about half, uh, I switched cameras about halfway through, and so we will be adding that footage at the end of this. But what I figured I'd do, just to kind of salvage the shoot, and so that you guys can kind of see more or less what we found, is we brought everything into the warehouse, um, laid out the main things that we identified, and we're gonna go through those here so that you guys can kind of see what we found. Um, one thing to note is that at the facility, so we paid $90 for this unit, and at the facility, uh, one of the people that worked there basically mentioned that they were into uh, collecting coins and that if we found any, that they would be interested in possibly purchasing them, so we did, we found some coins and basically sold it to one of the people for a hundred bucks. So right off the gate, five minutes into this, we basically made our money back for the unit right there in cash. And like I said, it was literally five minutes into the gate, not even 5% of the way into the actual unit. So anytime you walk out with your money back, it's a win. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna start the video, $90 in the hole, $100 profit, so we're going to start with a $10 profit from here on out. So let's go through and take a look at all the actual items that we found, and let's break this down. So this is kind of a uh, high level, so that you can kind of see some of the things that we found. So the first things first, this particular thing right here, a um, whole bunch of pins, presidential pins. I am not sure if they are repos or if they're original um, so I haven't taken them out of the case I'm thinking about taking them somewhere so that somebody can take a look at them and basically tell us if they are reproductions or if they're real um, but I mean even if they're reproductions you could probably get about twenty thirty dollars for these pins if they're original then you're probably talking hundreds into thousands just dependent so there's some pretty cool ones like that one particularly there kind of stands out to me that one there stands out to me so there's quite a bit of content here. I mean, it just literally depends on, you know, which one and, you know, what, what it is that you're looking for. But so we're going to move that to the side and we're going to go to the next one. So the next thing that we found in the unit is this right here. So basically, this is the uh, history of America for young Americans. It's a solid bronze collection, so there's different types of coins, you know, and this has already been listed on eBay. Um, they tend to go anywhere between 20 and 30 bucks is what I've kind of found as comps. So we started at 20 bucks, so 20 bucks. Next thing we found, which really has no monetary value but it's actually pretty cool um, this is kind of a outline of all the things that they basically I guess whoever owned this unit used to work at a uh, Amoco station gas station back in the day and so this is basically all the permits and the licenses and the things that they basically needed to run the business but what I thought was really really cool is there's their first dollar so that's just a pretty cool, neat, pretty, you know, when you're a business owner, it's kind of cool to see that, you know, people still do those traditions, you know what I mean? Um, some other things that we found, um, weapons-wise, we found this right here. Looks pretty cool. You know, it, it's definitely old, so we'll definitely have to kind of get it appraised and see more or less what it's worth. Next thing we found was this. Um, basically, it looks to be like a little sawed-off shotgun. 
um, rifle, shotgun, I'm not really sure. Um, so basically, so you can take a look. It opens up. Just a pretty neat little find. So I need to uh, take it down to the police station, have them kind of run it, make sure that everything is legit and legal, and then basically go from there. Next thing, um, basically found three knives. So these are old style knives, you know, back from back back in the day. So first one here. Now I didn't see any like identifying marks or anything along those lines, but it's definitely a pretty neat little knife. Um, it is pretty sharp. So if you know what that is, you know, maybe message or put it in the comments and we'll definitely take a look. Next one is this one right here. So we're going to put it right here so you can actually see it better. The blade itself, it's got some markings right there. And then some markings right there. So once again, if you know what that is, you know, maybe give us a heads up. And then the next knife that we found, or sword, I guess you could call it, is this one right here. So, if you look at it right there, you know, this one's really, really heavy. Um, not entirely sure what. There's no markings or anything that I can see. So we're definitely going to have to take it to somebody to kind of get a feel for what it is and maybe what a value for it is. All right, so we got those three things there. So you bring this back and put it here. So next, um, what we found was, so this particular package seems to have a Egypt pack. I'm not entirely sure what it's for. Um, we did find within the unit quite a bit of things that were like um, Freemasons and things along those lines. So maybe that's something, but um, ultimately, you know, that's something we'll have to get checked out and see more or less what it is and if there's a value to it or if it's just, you know, kind of like a sentimental piece. Another thing that we found basically in the unit was a U.S. American flag basically folded up in a nice display case um, we asked the actual unit if you know the family wanted some items because I wasn't sure if it was like something that was based off of a funeral or, or if it was just something that they bought and they basically told me no so I went ahead and took it I figured you know if you guys know you know are those things should I sell it should I donate it you know let me know in the comments you know it, it definitely helps out uh, a couple of other fun things that we found. Um, this right here is from December 1965. I won't actually open it because I'm sure they won't let me show that on YouTube or Facebook. But And then the other one is this one here from uh, January 1969. So definitely going to take a look at those and see if there's any kind of value or anything along those lines. Um, then we found this little pouch right here. And... In the pouch itself is basically a clamp meter. These usually tend to sell for maybe five, ten bucks. You'd probably be able to get. I think they retail for like twenty, twenty-five. Uh, brand new. I mean, this one pretty much is brand new, but you know. A um, couple of other things um, that we found. Let me get this out the way because that has no value. Um, we found this right here which if I open it up it is a pull stick a cube so looks to be pretty high-end it looks to be like a really nice you know stick so we'll see what we can basically list out for um, I'm thinking at least 20 30 bucks now keep in mind once again this was a $90 unit so you know 90 bucks we made our hundred right off the top so 
can't really go too wrong you know what I mean so all right so next thing is this right here there's quite a few things like these um, not entirely sure who that is but I'm assuming it's maybe a Western actor from back in the day um, it is signed so not entirely sure but you know could be worth something next we found a Maryland picture I don't see any kind of signatures on it so I'm not entirely sure if it is signed or autographed but I haven't taken it out of the frame yet so once I take it out of the frame I will see and if I do find something I'll provide an update next one here is John Wayne looks to be a picture again I don't see any type of signature but once I open it and I go through it you know I'll definitely let you guys know so um, there's another one here of Maryland I've never seen this picture but again don't see a signature but we'll go from there next one is this one frame is a little dirty so we'll definitely have to get it out and see if it's even you know usable I think it's just on the outside not necessarily on the inside but and I do not see a signature but again the frame is dirty so your guess is as good as mine and then we have this one here so the three stooges again don't see a signature but I guess we'll find out lastly we found in here a poster of Marilyn I just think it's a poster um, in the back of it it says that so I don't know if maybe the individual got it at a garage sale or you know who knows next um, this is kind of like a uh, collectible piece so this should be kind of neat it is a Missouri Pacific Lines yearly calendar of 1944 it is metallic so hopefully it is a collector's item but we're gonna basically take a look and see if uh, you know there's any kind of desire for something like that online I'm sure there is next we found a concert favorites best known light classics this is a 10 symphonic record set so records tend to sell fairly well at all, at, on eBay so we'll add it here to the rest of our record collections the next thing we found is the 23 Psalm not entirely sure what it is but it is from the Franklin Mint and basically in here there are little plaque things so that's pretty neat and then in the back alright and then another thing we found is basically a train set so looks to be a Lionel trains American legend uh, 0 0.027 gauge basically it's a complete 100% train set so it seems to have all the cards it seems to have everything um, it's a uh, diesel locomotive and here's kind of a picture of what it's supposed to look like it does have a little bit of damage but haven't really looked up on uh, eBay what it's worth um, or just to kind of just get a feel for it but I'm thinking I mean trains are expensive toys so 50 100 bucks we'll see all right in addition to um, we found this I don't think there's any real value to this but this is definitely something that would come in handy it's just a um, stick to sharpen a knife basically we found a slingshot so again not something that probably has a lot of value it's a power line but you know might get a little bit of cash for it we're gonna open it up and it's basically tools just different types of tools to do different types of things that's ultimately all this is 
I uh, put it in the showcase simply because I thought it was a neat find. Not every day you find something kind of like that, you know what I mean? Um, we also found this, which is a Hamilton Beach electric knife. And it looks to be pretty much brand new. I don't think it's ever been used. So I'm thinking maybe 10, 10 bucks, five, 10 bucks, something along those lines. So um, in addition to that, we found this right here, certificate of authenticity. And it is a Dell Earnhardt commemorative plate. We also found another one here, which is a Dan Marino plate, quarterback club. And then this also has the certificate of authenticity. And one more, okay, so one more we have in here. And this particular one is Star Trek to boldly go where, so. And in this packages, there's batteries. I'm not entirely sure what that's for. And then the little stand that basically goes to it. So maybe this has audio, this plate, I don't know. Yep, it's a collector's plate and it looks like it has audio. So, and it's marked. So that's pretty neat. I'll look to see more or less what they're worth and we'll post it there so some other loose trinkets that we found um, you know little things you know Beethoven and then you know there's little giraffes and stuff like that so this type of stuff you know kind of hit or miss sometimes you sell them sometimes you can't get rid of them you know what I mean um, in here we found a lot of old mail from back, back in the day, you know, 40s, 50s, like if you look at the timestamps on the uh, postages, um, you know, it's got some old postage stamps and stuff along those lines. So I'm going to look to see if any of those stamps are basically worth anything. Um, but I mean, you can look at the uh, dates here. So, you know, December 8th, 1968. So, you never know, you know, little things like that you don't really think about, but sometimes the little postage stamp is something that was really, really hard to look for and really hard to find, you know. Um, we also found a book that basically is a memories book. Um, again, we did leave a lot of stuff with the unit, but that's one of the things that they did not want. So I brought it just, you know, out of respect. So in here we have a uh, three book set of the Civil War. So I figured I'd see more or less if we could find a market for it. Next, we found this right here, which seems to have some jewelry. It has a money clip, um, little necklace, or I'm sorry, bracelet. And, you know, some little loose trinkets and stuff along those lines. So, we'll go through that and more or less see what's there. Find a couple of VHS movies, which I think I've got way too many of them. But, oh well. We found drum sticks, which I'm sure that'll go for something. In here, we found basically old, once again, 1944. Um, papers and stuff like that and then there's like Western Union telegrams so there might be some collectible you know value to some of this stuff so 
another postcard, Delta Airlines, another postcard here for U.S. Air Force, you know, and then some random paperwork and stuff like that, and then, like, some postage, you know, 1944. So, you never know. I mean, World War II memorabilia, stuff like that, so definitely brought it, and we figured we'd take care of it and see more or less what we could do with it. All right, so some additional stuff we found are, you know, some discs, music, Beethoven, Takayaki, stuff like that. So we're going to take a look and see if uh, any of that is postable. And then last but not least, um, we found this little monster right here, um, which has all kinds of little things in here. So in here, we found basically a whole bunch of loose change and I'll get closer to the light so you can see but it's basically coins from Canada from Colombia things along those lines um, we found some pocket knives so first one here so I figured I'd probably do like a pocket knife collection lot or something along those lines and get those posted online. This one looks to be maybe ivory. All right, we also found a little plaque, like a little pin metal. This one here is for Asiatic Pacific Campaign. And then in the back, 1945 all right so the next one we have basically is for European African Middle Eastern campaign and the date in the back of it is also 41 to 45 so again not really sure what they're worth um, if you look, that's what it says on the actual pot packages themselves. It comes from the U.S. Mint. And this one here is for an American campaign. And the year on this one is 1941 to 1945 also. So, just some pretty cool little nostalgic things from back in the day. Um, let's see what else we got. So, in here, it has that inside of it. So when I look at the back of it, I believe it's gold. Um, it has I don't know if you can see that, but it's got the markings and stuff. So I'm going to assume that it's probably 18 karat gold. I think that's what it says. We found a couple of more little knickknacks here. This one here has some kind of cufflink type thing or something that basically goes um, it's a single cufflink so I don't know how much you're gonna be able to sell it for but you know if it's silver or something along those lines you might be able to you know sell it for but this one here has like a little pin has the Freemason uh, symbol on it and then here we have kind of like some other insignia but little knickknacks, you know, those are all things that you might be able to, you know, sell, even if it's for a couple bucks or something. We found a Frontierland Walt Disney World uh, coin, a wooden nickel, and then a Frontierland, so two of them. We also found a cross pen. They're like 14 karat pens um, it's got 12 karat gold filled that's what it looks like but this particular one what I thought was really cool is that it's basically an Amoco pen so it's got the Amoco uh, logo basically on the pen itself so I think it was only given to maybe employees so there might be some collectivity because it's not so mainstream you know um, another found Another thing that we found is basically stamps. So, stamps from the uh, Civil War. 
and it's got basically all the different generals and all the different people um, again I'm gonna have to get it validated and see more or less when this was made um, it looks like it was July 1st 1996 so a commemorative edition so you know I don't know how much value it's gonna have but you probably can still get a few bucks for it and then a whole bunch of little pieces of mail uh, just random little things um, you know little ledgers and little things just to kind of commemorate and you know talk about so we'll go through all of these things and see if there's anything of value or anything that's interesting in them and we'll go from there but ultimately um, that's pretty much almost everything the only other thing which was what we originally went to this unit for is basically what as I had mentioned in the other video and I showed you a picture um, I had mentioned that in the pod I saw what looked like a sword hanging on the side of the building so um, if you look right here that was the picture that I showed you and you know that little handle is what I thought was a sword so when we got in the unit took a look at it and here's what we found so it definitely was a sword um, you can see that there's quite a bit to it and you know you've got and it's actually pretty pretty heavy so there's pretty good amount of weight to it and you know it's definitely a pretty cool little find that it's the first time I have found basically a sword inside of a unit but ultimately that's uh, kind of a small thing of what we found there was a lot of books there was a lot of other things that we found lots of tools I think we have found like five or six toolboxes completely full of tools um, you know we found all kinds of different stuff so but I mean ultimately right off the gate I made my money back so all this stuff is free so we're basically gonna go through it sort it try and figure out what it is what the value of it is and basically go from there but what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna basically bring in the footage that we actually were able to get back and we'll basically start it kind of like at the middle and you can kind of see all the pieces back so I'll talk through some of the things that you saw here and how we found them and stuff like that so I wanted to kind of do the prelude to kind of explain why it wasn't your usual you know the doors opening and all of that um, so that was the purpose of this so I hope you guys enjoyed what you saw um, ultimately you don't have to stay for the rest of the video if you don't want to simply because you've seen more of the big finds but you're welcome to stay take a look at all the things we found and uh, you know if you could like the video you know if you could subscribe and click the bell we really appreciate it I know we're a new channel and we're basically starting out but you know any support or any uh, involvement we would appreciate so the plus to all of this is that now I'm inside even if it rains I'm not gonna get wet so you know but alright so I got one more unit tomorrow um, I picked it up today it's in Daytona so we're gonna see what's in that unit so stay tuned for that coming video hopefully in the next day or two but um, thanks for checking in. Thanks for watching us. And uh, we'll get this done. We'll see you soon. All right. Next box here. Actually, these are from 1995. Yeah, it's probably commemorative. But I'm sure you can probably still get a penny or two. Uh, Got some kind of gun. Looks like a play gun. I don't know about this one. This one feels like it's real. It's either a 22 or a 380. Centennial Metal. 1776. All kinds of stuff in here. The jewelry box. We got money in there too from Canada. Let's see what is in here. Looks like a old style barometer type thing.
we've got just some pictures, some frames. So go back to the family. Decorated frames. So let's get on the trailer. And let's put these books back here. Ah, there we go. Alright, he also gave me this. Apparently it was from another unit, they threw it away. So instead of it, I don't know, throwing away, he asked me if I wanted it, so I said I'd take it. I'll see what it is later. In the unit we also found that. Looks pretty cool. Old train set. We'll put that in the front. And then this right here, box full of stuff. Put that there. These things will take to the front. All right, so we got two boxes here. With boxes inside of them. Some kind of tool. That's pretty neat. So that's the first one. It's a popular almanac, so and then this one. Fishing stuff. Oh, some of the wooden ones. That one's neat. There's another one. Wooden. And another and another. Some of these go for a pretty penny. Just have to look them up. Pretty cool with the knife and everything. That bobber melted. We'll have to go through that one, figure out what it's actually worth, and basically go from there. So, this is where we're at at the moment. We've got one, two, three, four, maybe six crates of books, which once we get rid of that, it's basically all the small stuff that's left. So, whew, boy. This has been a fun unit. It looks like there's some cowboy boots in there. Maybe some old style pew pews. So I'm gonna stop, get some of these books out of here so we can actually get to the good stuff and we'll be back. All right, so put a couple more books up there. In here, a couple little things. I wanted to move this out the way so we can uh, that more than likely will be trash. I don't know. We'll see. Might still work. But uh, in here, I saw these. And this. So let's go take a look at them. This one here, a little heavier. Don't see a date, but we can definitely get it estimated. And then this one. Alright, we also have, I noticed it over there, looks like an old side-off shotgun of some sort. I have to get that checked, but it's 
pretty cool. An old Instamatic Kodak. Still has film in it. And then some additional cameras. The only one that really stands out is that one. Let's get this out the way so it doesn't break. Some more fishing doors. These look like the wooden. Together, it is hot as hell out here boy like really really hot jacket doesn't seem to have a name of any kind so what else we got let's take these two things I don't know what that's for. Some kind of halogen bulb. No pressure sodium grow light bulb. I wonder if they were uh, growing stuff. <laughs> Alright, so we got a clock here. Book stuck to it, but. style TV, flat screen, Let's see what this is, something to sharpen knives with, alright, here's your grow kit, <laughs> there's your light for that bulb, This is the power supply for the light. Alright, so in here, got two pairs of boots. We'll check those in a minute, see what kind they are. Probably gotta be cleaned, but cowboy boots last forever. These are Justin boots, so they're a good brand. I'm assuming those are Justin's also. So, yep. Yeah, you see it right there. And they're size eight, I'm assuming. Nine. So, popular shoe size. Then in here, there's Gonna assume a bowling ball. Oh yeah. It's a nice ball. 
What do you think it's worth? I know nothing of bowling. Alright, I'm gonna load some more of this stuff, get through the final shots, and see if we can get this thing wrapped up. So bear with me, I'll be back. Alright, I'm sweating like a dog. We got most of the books on the trailer. Hopefully it's all of them. Books are heavy, don't want to deal with them. But this is what we got left. So let's see if there's anything in this box. Nope. We've got 95 Conference Champs Magic Towel and a brand new tarp. Alright, in here, I think that's family stuff. Autograph. Here, got a little box. Nothing in it. Put that to the side. Plate. China plate, made in USA. Shells. Explains the pen. The train. These are all train pieces. Random train pieces of track. So have a lot. A train bot. Here we've got for starters this plaque thing in the back Washington Cross in the Delaware 1978 from the Franklin Mint. So hopefully that's worth something. We've got two pictures here. In the mirror. Uh, we got another one of these Mozart things. So I'll add to the collection. And we've got concert favorites. Vinyl, I'm assuming. Yeah, that'll sell. Right in here, VHS player. Those will sell fairly well on eBay. Then we got a book, I'm assuming, 23rd Psalm. Looks like some kind of artwork. I don't want to get it out because it's going to be hard to put back in. Then we have some kind of receiver, AM, FM, stereo, realistic. And then another receiver down here, which is a five disc changer Sony so I'm gonna put that stuff up and I'll come right back all right next we have a slingshot pretty neat and then some kind of a don't mess with me stick a little TV with rabbit ears. Goes to show you how long how long it's been since this unit's actually been touched. It's got rabbit ears. Alright, then we have some 
screw pen stuff, tools. I don't really bore you with the details, but an arm clock, a drill. Here's an old TV back in the day. Kind of like what I used to use when I used to play Nintendo as a kid. A plate, a serving plate. This looks like an air purifier. Sky Enterprises. So this thing's not opened, so we can basically put it for sale since it's never been opened. Somebody will want it. Man, it's hot. I feel like I'm dying. All right, so let's just do this quick. So, got an electric knife from back in the day. Some kind of a Star Trek timepiece. It's pretty neat. Enterprise with a little pouch and everything. Then there's some tools, just some random tools, and then this, Ryobi, seesaw, saw saw, this is there, we got some shells, a mirror, Robert E. Lee, The Battle of Lusty, should be interesting, we got a couple pictures, some kind of a piece of art, let's go out in the sun so you can actually see it. by Robert Wood, whoever that is. Put that there. Some lamps, you know, the usual last stuff. But that's about it. So I'm gonna take this last few things, put them in the trailer, get this unit cleaned up, return all the uh, personal effects, and uh, get the show on the road. So when I get back to the warehouse, I'm going to uh, basically sort through all this stuff I think today for this particular one we're actually gonna turn the camera on and show you how we sort through things and basically start putting prices on things and figure it out but that's where we're at it's what we did $90 unit I think we should get easily at least six seven eight hundred off of this unit I'm hoping maybe more the uh, pins which are these right here I am uh, unsure if they're real or if they're repl replicas. If they're real, they should be worth a pretty penny. And then the other thing is this right here. It's made out of solid bronze. So it's gotta be worth something. So we'll figure that out. We'll uh, see if we can find some comps online and uh, put some pricing on stuff and see what we turn $90 into. Thanks for joining. I'll be in touch. So we're downloading this pod. It was actually pretty cool. There's quite a few pretty cool little things in it. It seems to be a storage unit that hopefully will pay off. It's been a while. I mean, you make a couple hundred here and there, but hopefully this one pays off big, especially if those uh, FDR buttons are real. I remember seeing a Pawn Stars episode about it, so might have to see if I can find it and see how they said to look to see if they're replicas or not and then they also gave it an estimate i know it was years ago but something to start on so whew, it's hot man but we're gonna drive back to orlando hopefully this was in uh between orlando and tampa so about an hour hour and a half away from my house so we're going to now basically head back and Hopefully start going through everything and seeing more or less what we really have. Um, basically the job is going to start now. 
that was the fun part exploring and uh, treasure hunting next comes the research and uh, finding the real prices and editing this video posting it online you know all the things that uh yeah i'm dying all the things that uh basically get you to the sale point so we're going to uh drive out of here get on i4 head back to orlando unload all this stuff hopefully before the rain comes because once again it's supposed to rain today and uh some of this stuff i really don't want to lose to the rain so i'm hoping that uh we make it so anyways i'm gonna drive safe i'm gonna drive forward and uh we'll see you when we get to orlando all right Airplane covers. I wonder how much those cost. <laughs> I wonder how much airplane covers cost. Airplane, six billion dollars. Airplane cover, six point six million dollars. Alright. This time I'm really signing off. I'm really gonna be driving off. I'm literally dying. So I will uh, see you guys later. Be safe out there and happy picking.